Part One of Poems and Songs in the Lancashire Dialect by Edwin Waugh. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Come warm to thy children and me. Oh, I've just mended the fire wi' a cob. Owd swaddle has brought thee new shoon. There's some nice bacon collops or thob, and a quarter ale posset it oon. I've brought thee top quart, dost to know, for the rain's coming down very dree, and thy stone's as white as new snow. Come home to thee childer and me. When I put little Sally to bed, who cried cause her feyther weren't there? So I kissed the little thing, and I said, Thou'd bring her a ribbon for the fair, and I gave her a doll, and some rags, and a nice little white cotton bow, and I kissed her again, but who said, I too wanted to kiss thee and o oh. and Dick too o'd oh, sitch wark wi him afore I could get him upstairs. They told him they'd bring him a drum, he said, when he sayin his prayers. Then he looked in me face and he said, As the boggarts tain out o my dad, and he cried till his een were quite red. He likes thee some wheel does yon lad. At the long length o oh, Gaton laid still and I hearkened folks' feet at went by, so I ain't o'er my clothes reet well, and I hanged em off maiden to dry. When I'd mended thee stockings and shirts, I sit down to knit in me cheer, and I really did feel rather hurt. Mon, I'm only when thou art there. Over drum and a trumpet for Dick, over yard a blue ribbon for Sal, over book of babs and a stick, and some bacco and pipes for mysel who brought thee some coffee and tea if thou feel in me pocket thou'll see and o've bought thou a new cap to-day but i always bring summat for thee god bless thou my lass o go warm and o kiss thee and the childer o round thou knows that wherever o roam i'm fain to get back to the old ground o can do wi a crack o'er a glass and can do wi a bit of a spree but of no greatly comfort my lass except with yon childer and thee what ails thee my son robin what ails thee my son robin my heart is sore for thee thy cheeks are growing thinner and th leet has laughed thee thou trails about so lonesome and look so pale at morn good bless the lad oh i'm sorry to see the so forlorn the footsteps sadly ought o oh, used to know it weel now art a fairy stricken er art a gradely ill er has to bin with witches ith clough at deepeth neat come tell me robin tell me for summat is not reet eh hey, mother dunnot fret ye o oh, am not like mysel but tisn't lung o'th fearin that an to do with dale there's nought at thus good dawn me ith clough be neat a day it's yon blue een o mary's thin tear my life away o oh, doubt o've done we comfort to th day that o mun dee for the place who sets her foot on it's fairy ground to me but o oh, it's no use speakin o oh, couldn't stun her pride and when a true heart's breakin it's very hard to bide now god be with her robin just let her have her way You'll never meet thy marrow for mony a summer day. Oh, just the same with thy feyther when first he spoke to me. So go thy ways and whistle, and th lass'll come to thee. The Grindlestone It were Dody a Joseph's, a joiner by trade, a comical cout and a keen bitten blade. Here as force as a boggart as th neighbours weel knew, though when in her mind he could look like a foo. Derry down. But the bravest and breetest of the childer o' men may haply be hampered a bit now and then. Dody's axe wanted grinding one wark a day morn, when the nobody about to gith grindle a turn. Derry down. Then he grunted and mumbled and glend at around, and he tooted about o'er the neighbouring ground. Still never a soul to turn the stone could he find and it made him a little bit thrutched in his mind derry down till a soft-looking urchin come wandering by wi his thumb in his mouth and a tear in his eye 
we his slate and his satchel he a creep into scoo and by the look of his ease dody knowed he a foo derry down bith maskins said dody i'm loosened at last and he beckoned a thlad that were wandering fast come hither me tight little maister o' men then he pooed out a sixpence and fobbed it again derry down there's a grindle stone here dost a think thou can turn if thou doesn't know how i can help thee to larn i connot owd thax and turn thondle mysel thou art a nice lad o' sumbris come give us a dwell derry down the lad laid owd o' thondle and shaped like a mon for he lippen to sixpence when th turning were done so he twirled at this grindle a dody o' jaws till salt water trickled off the end of his nose derry down dody felt at his axe and he said thou young foo thou'lt get a rare twiltin for stopping for a scoo either off like a red shank or th door may be teened and he gave him a bit of a lifter behind derry down the lad dried for his forehead the breet briny drip and he piked up his books wi a whimpering lip and he crope off to scoo turning o'er in his mind th first lesson he'd larnt i the pranks o mon kind derry down as you're wandering through life ten at one that you'n find a good lot of folk that an axe is to grind give a turn when you con but remember to th end it's turning the rang road to turn on a friend derry down god bless these poor folk god bless these poor folk that are striving by means that are honest and true for summat to keep em alive in this world that we're scrambling through as the life of a mon's full of fatin a poor soul that wants to fate fair should never be grudged of his hatin for the hardest of battles his share as the life of a mon's full of fatin a poor soul that wants to fate fair should never be grudged of his hatin for the hardest of battles his share this world's kin to trouble if best on there's money sad changes come round we wander about to find rest on and th worm yammers for us in th ground may he that'll watch while he's able be never long hungry nor dry and th childer at sit at his table god bless em wi plenty say i as th life of a mon's full of fatin a poor soul that wants to fate fair should never be grudged of his hatin for th hardest of battles his share and he that can feel it a pleasure to leeten misfortin and pain may his pantry be all as full measure to cut at and come to again may god bless his cup and his cupboard a thousand for one that he gives and his heart be a bumper o comfort to th very last minute he lives as the life of a mon's full of fatin a poor soul that wants to fate fair should never be grudged of his hatin for the hardest of battles his share and he that scorns ale to his victual is welcome to let it alone though some can be wise with a little and some that are foolish we known and some are so queer if a nater that nought with the stomachs agree but he that would lay for drink waiter shall never be stinted by me as the life of a mon's full of fatin a poor soul that wants to fate fair should never be grudged of his hatin for the hardest of battles his share one likes to see hearty folk watchin and weary folk havin a rest one likes to hear poor women singin to th little things laid off their breast good cooks are my favourite doctors good livers my parson shall be and ony poor crater at's clemmin may come have a mouthful wi me as the life of a mon's full of fatin a poor soul that wants to fate fair should never be grudged of his hatin for the hardest of battles his share how time is a troublesome codger keeps nudgin us on to decay and whispers you're no but a lodger get ready for goin away then lets a no skulkin nor snivelin whatever misfortins before god bless him that fends for his livin and owds up his yed through it o'er as the life of a mon's full of fatin a poor soul that wants to fate fair should never be grudged of his hatin for the hardest of battles his share come mary link the arm i mine come mary link the arm i mine and lilt away wi me 
and dry that little drop o' brine fro th corner o' the e th morning dew i th heather bells a bonny bit o' wheat that tear a different story tells it pains my heart to seat so mary link the arm i mine no lordly o'er th countrysides so pleasant to my view as th little corner where abides my bonny lass and true but there's a nook beside yon spring and if thou'll share with me i'll buy the th bonniest gowden ring that ever thou did see so mary link the arm in mine my feyther's gan wo forty pound i silver and i gowd and a pratty bit o garden ground o th morning side o th fowd an awnsome bible clen and new to read for days to come there's leaves for writing names in too like thou dun at so home so mary link the arm in mine ower jenny's been a buyin in and every day who brings knives and forks and pots and irons for smoothing caps and things my granny's sent a kist o drawers sunday clothes to keep and little fanny's bought a glass where thee and me can peep so mary link the arm in mine our thomas sent a bacon flitch our jem a load of coals our charlie's bought some picters and he's hanged em up o th walls our pours his white west th cottage through our matty's made it sweet and jack's gan me his jam and flute to play be th fire at neat so mary link the arm in mine there's cups and saucers porridge ponds and tables great and small there's brushes mugs and lading cans and eight days clock and o'er there's a cheer for thee and one for me and one i every nook thee mother's has a cushion on t it's the nicest cheer i throok so mary link the arm in mine my granny's gan me th four-post bed wi curtains to it and o'er and pillows sheets and bowsters too as white as driven snow it isn't stuffed wi fither down but th flocks are clean and new who says there's honest folk i th town that's made a worse and do so mary link the arm in mine who oh, i peeped into me cot last neet it made me hutchin fain a bonny fire were winkin breet i every window pane who oh, marlock to poth white hearthstone and drummed off kettle lid and sung me neest is snug and sweet o oh, go and fotch me brid so mary link the arm i mine End of part one Part two of Poems and Songs in the Lancashire Dialect by Edwin Waugh. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chirrup Young Chirrup were a mettled cout, his heart and limbs were true. At foot race, or at rustling bout, or aught he buckled to. At wark or play, reet gallantly, he laid into his game and he a very fond o' singing brids that's how he gate his name he as straight as ony pickin rod and limber as a snig and th heartiest cock o'th village clod at ony country rig his shining een were clear and blue his face were frank and bowed and th yore about his monly brew were crisp to curls o' gowd young chirrup donned his clinket shoon and started off to the fair he swore by fleet of harvest moon he'd have a marlock there he pooed a sprig for th thorn tree that blossomed by the way if ony mon says rang to me or oh, tan his eyed to-day full sadly mony a lass would sigh as wandering slyly near they tooted at his een to spy if love were lurking there so fair and free he stepped to the green and trolling out a song we leet some heart and twinkling een went chirruping along young chirrup wooed a village maid and who with flower of o'er we kisses kind ith woodland shade and whispers soft and low he mally's ear twith sweetest chime that ever mortal sung and mally's heart beat merry time to the music of his tongue the kindest mates this world within mun sometimes meet wi pain 
but if this pain could life begin they'd buckle to again for though he're hearty blunt and tough and mally sweet and mild for three score year through smooth and rough who lad him like a child the duels i this bonnet o mine the duels i this bonnet o mine my ribbons will never be reet here mally whom like to be fine for jame will be coming to neet he met me th lone t other day we were going for waiter to twelve and he begged that o'd wed him may be th mass if he'll let me or will when he took my two ons into his good lord how they trembled between and o'er durst not look up in his face because on him seeing me een me cheek went as red as a rose there's never a mortal can tell how happy o felt for they knows o couldn't a axed him mysel but the tale were at the end of me tongue to let it out wouldn't be reet for o thought to seem forrard were wrong so o towed him o tell him to neet but mally then o was very weel though it isn't a thing one should own if o the pick in the world to mysel or do other a jamie or noan now molly i've towed them a mind what would to do if to thee or tack him just while he're inclined and apparently bargain he'd be for jamie's as gradely a lad as ever stepped out into the sun so jump at the chance and get wed and do best the con when it's done eh hey dear but it's time to be gone or i shouldn't like jamie to wait or connot for shame be too soon and i wouldn't for the world be too late I'm over trembled to feel. Dost think it me bonnet'll do? Be off, lass, thou looks very weel. He wants none of bonnet, thou foo. Willy ground. Eh, the night before Larry was stretched. Come, Caleb, and saddle thee shanks, and let's ha no more o' thee bother. With thee camplin' din o' thee pranks, thou watchin' thee sell to a lother come nathan poo up into th nook i know that a comical crater let's join at a conk and a smook and a bumper a wat rum and waiter fal de dal we neighbours and very weel met we're all merry lads o' good metal here's nathan we're never licked yet and caleb's efferently fettle we a pipe and a tot and a crack and a crony i'm just in me glory so now i'll tip the world from me back and brast off wi a bit of a story fal al de dal to the day as i rove in a rout a let of owd robin a bumpers is a terrible gullet for grout and at poaching they sayin is a crumper but he's got at a tot and a tail so he popped into peter and nancy's and i said to him go for some ale or aught i this all that thou fancies fal al de dal as we croak we are gills up to thob thou layrock began for to twitter and he towed of a ticklesome job at sent us o into a titter one day when he a prickin a hair a bit of a whacker come o'er him for just as he a set in a snare thou owner of lon stood afore him fal al de dal hello what are you doing here says robin why nought no but walkin walk off then cried he with a sneer this lamb belongs me where you're stalking says robin you're eat i'll be bound but what's to be done i can't tell sir for i'd like to walk somebody's ground as i've none it belongs to mysel sir fal al de dal this lond is a ticklesome lot to wrangle about it's a blunder for whether one owns it or not he'll very soon at a knock under both landlords and tenants mun flit let's walk without fratching or frowning then let us walk on it a bit and then lend us a bit to lie down in fal al de dal lair ollie day a bit of a sing bill a sheep shouters robin a three rondel a scouters twilter and me we made mally grimes owd kitchen roof ring one merry yule time when met for to sing to relu fall the day rondel sang counter robin sang bass twilter sang a max a comical ways the tenor were fine bill took it up well and th treble were mine i sang it mysel to relu fold a day the first were a psalm the next were a sung 
and then we sang glees till thrack and hook rung and merry owd mal chimed in like a brid as who tinkled to th tune for th owd kettle did to relu fal de day stop and rosin cried bill it's gettin e time weet your whistle said moll it sweetens the chime a tot o' pea spring cried rondle and then like lyrix o th wind ween tootle again to relu fal de day we twittered and sang till midneet were gone we capers off warm bith leet th moon as we wandered to a th moss bill lap shoulder he and i'm fain that i'm wick cried robin a th dree to relu fal de day tommy pobs air derry down tommy pobs were a good natured sort of a lad he a waver by trade and he wore for his dad he a fond o down craters neighbours o said that he are eat in his heart but he'd naught in his yed derry down nan o flups were a lass that were swipper and strung who'd a temper of fire and a rattling tongue who are as handsome a filly as mortal e'er seed but who come of a racklesome natterin breed derry down nan had frittered away all th fore end of her life for who'd flirted o'er round who had ne'er been a wife but one day when who fund who had turned thirty year owd who began a being flayed who be left out i th cowed derry down then who tooted around among th lads about home and who thought who'd a bit of a chance wi poor tom and who cut at and foodled and simpered and skend till who geet him as fast as a thief in th far end derry down poor tom was so maddled in th heart and he yed that i doubt he had deed if they hadn't been wed but at last they stroke hands and agreed to be one nanny tightsed him to church and poor tommy were done derry down and when th news of this wedding geet down into th fowd folk chuckled and thought that poor tommy was sowd and th women o said nan's too mitch for you lad he'd better a stop till he deed with his dad derry down but they buckled together for better and were and at first o were eat between tommy and her for they'd meetily thick both be daylight and dark till th waiter of life cooled em down to their wark derry down then nanny soon changed it and come back to herself and who campelt and snapped as no mortal can tell and poor tommy pob soon found out that his wife though an angel at first were a devil for life derry down though nan proved to blister and kept him in pain tom were like an owd sheep for he didn't complain and he groped to his looms and he kept waving away but it made little odds who went worse every day derry down and who ectered and plagued him to sich a degree that mony a time tom had been fain for to dee the lad did all that he could to keep thick wi his wife but it weren't in a nature to live a quiet life derry down and it nettled her so that at last who began to fling aught at his yed that come first to her hand it was sometimes a pitcher and sometimes a pon and he didn't care what if it let off out mon derry down and if that didn't vex him a temper was sich that who'd nip up a tough looking lump of a switch and sometimes it lapped round his eye wi a bend and sometimes it come across tommy's nose end derry down and thus year by year this poor couple to a ton till tommy a groon a grey yedded owd mon then nanny took ill and were laid up i bed and who flang no more pots at owd tommy's white yed derry down at last nanny deed and the owd lad felt it sore for if who'd been an angel he'd not a grieved more so he lingered by the grave till he wrapped her up well and then he come crying away by his cell derry down toddling warm toddling warm for the market rant toddling warm content and cant wi me head in me hat and me feet in me shoon and fain to be toddling warm toddling warm for the fireside bliss toddling warm for the childer's kiss god bless yon bitter curling smook god bless yon cosy chimbley nook and fain to be toddling warm toddling warm for twittering songs toddling warm for prattling tongues 
toddling warm to sink to rest with wife and little brids ith nest i'm fain to be toddling warm end of part two part three of poems and songs in the lancashire dialect by edwin waugh this librivox recording is in the public domain the sweetheart gate there's mony a gate out of our town end who nob but one for me it winds by a rindling waiter side and o'er a posied lee it wanders into a shady dell and when i've done for the day i can never settle this heart of mine bout walking down that way it's no other garden nor posied lee nor waiter rindling clear but down i th vale there's a rosy nook and my true love lives there it's allus summer where th heart's content the wintry winds may blow and there's never a gate so kind to th foot as th gate one likes to go when i set off for sweetheartin i've a thousand things to say but the very first glint o yon chimbley top it drives em all away and when i meet wi me bonny lass it sets me heart a gee the summit it later yon two blue een that plays the duel wi me when th layrock's finished his wark a boon and laid his music by he flutters down to his mate and stops till dayleet stirs it sky though matty sends me away at dark i know the two's reap full well and it's how i love a true-hearted lass no mortal tongue can tell i wish that michaelmas day were past when waking time comes on and i wish that candlemas day were here and matty and me were one i wish this wandering work were o'er this maundering to and fro that i could go home to me own true love and stop at neat and o'er owd enoch owd enoch a dance laid his pipe down a thob and his thin fingers played ith white thatch of his knob and getting done up to their betty he said those thing that could doff me and dad me to bed derry down etc then who get him to bed and who apt him up weel and who said to him eh hey, not lad how dost to feel these limbs are mine betty they cranky and sore it's time to shut up when one's get em four score derry down as who pottered about his poor winterly pate thou crater looked drowsily up at his mate there's naught on me laughed lass do o the con but th cratchingly frame o what once were a mon derry down then he turned his cell o'er like a child tired to wi' play and betty crept round while he a dozing away and his eyelids sank down thou lad muttered well done i think there's a bit of sound sleep coming on derry down then who thought who'd sit by till he'd had his nap o war if who'd sit there till then who'd a risen no more for he cooled out at th world and his een lost the leet like a cinder ith fire grate ith thee time ith neat derry down as betty sit rocking by the side of his bed who looked now and then at owd enoch's white yed and who thought to hersel that who'd not long to stay if ever thou prop of a life should give way derry down then wondering to see him so sound and so still who touched enoch's hond and who fund it were chill says betty he's cowed or put some at more on but all were no use for owd enoch were gone derry down and when they put enoch to bed down ith ground a rook o poor neighbours stood bare-headed round they dropped sprigs o rosemary and this were the text thou craters laid by we may haply be th next derry down so betty were left to tour on be a cell and how who pooed through no mortal can tell but th doctor dropped in to look at her one day when who were rocking by the side of an odd cup of tea derry down well betty said the doctor how dun you get on i'm sorry to hear at yon lost your owd mon what complaint had he betty says who i can't tell we ne'er had no doctor 
he deed of his derry down ay betty said the doctor there's one thing quite sure owd age is a thing that no physic can cure fate will have a way lass do all that we con with time's up we's at a sign o'er and be gone derry down both winter and summer thou mowers at wark siding folk out o seat both be daily eat and dark he's slavin away while we snore in he bed and he'd slash at a king if it come in his yed derry down these soldiers and parsons and maesters a lond he lays em ith ground with their mouths full o sond rags o riches and owd greasy capper a crown he sarves o alike for he switches em down derry down the mon that's larnt up and the mon that's a foo it mays little odds for they both an to go when they come within th swing of his scythe they mun four if yon root among th swathe you'll find doctors and o'er derry down our folk er johnny gives his mind to books er abron studies plants he caps the dool for moss and ferns and grew in polyants for aught about mechanicin er ned's the very lad my uncle jamie roots ith stars enough to drive him mad er alec keeps a badger's shop and teaches sunday school er joseph's welly blind poor lad er timothy's a foo he's tried three different max o trades and allers missed his tip but then he's the prattest whistler that ever cocked a lip er matty helps me mother and who sews and tents her jaw at doing sums and sich as that me feyther licks em more er charlie well there connot be another pate like his it's o crom full of ancientry and roman openies her tummy's tain to preachin he's a topper at it too but then what's the use a bill comes in and swears it winnot do when twon's been strivin o he con to water wicked men then t'other may some marlocks and convarts em o'er again her abel's the youngst and next to joe my mother likes him t best who gives him brass a boon his share to keep him nicely dressed he's getting in with quality and when his clarkin's done he's all as o'er the cricketin a shootin wi a gun my uncle sam's a fiddler and a vain could yer him play for a set o sun till winter neat had melted into day for eh sich glee sich tenderness through every changing part it's that that stirs his fiddle and his fiddle stirs his heart and when he touches th trembling string it knows his thout so weel it sounds as if an angel tried to tell what angels feel and sometimes the waiter in his een that fun has made to flow can hardly roll away afore it's blent with drops o woe and here's to joan and ab and ned and matty and her joe and me feyther and me mother and her t'other lads and o'er and thee too owd musicianer I wish long life to thee a mon that plays a fiddle wheel should never oast to thee forgive one another come here me bold cronies i'll not keep you long come hither and hearken to me i'll chant you a neighbourly snatch of a song and the end of me ditty shall be let's forgive one another we're a wandering band in a ticklesome land where never a mortal can stay when you've seen folk at's weary lads lend em a hand and oh as we're jogging away let's forgive one another this will o the wisp in a poor body's breast it flutters the life of a mon it plays in wild marlocks that rob him a rest a mortal may do what he con let's forgive one another like harp strings we made of a different tone and the minstrel he sits up a boon to him every note of the gamut's weel known let's hope that he'll keep us in tune to forgive one another at neet when a mother's her children undressed they paddle an up close to a knee to whisper a prayer afore going to rest and the sweetest a strain unto me is forgive one another some like unto wrangle o'er notes but a name and who were the mams and the dads but gentle or simple it ends up the same we're all johnny butter lads 
let's forgive one another when thinking o life and its troublesome way we in very leet need to be proud strike ons while you wick for you're not long to stay it's late when you're lapped in a shroud to forgive one another and now as we never may or meet again for the future no mortal can see i'll stick to me text lads and as it began so thender my ditty shall be let's forgive one another buckle two good largest days what change there is upon this mortal ground as time goes flying o'er one's yed how queerly things come round what ups and downs and ins and outs what blending ill and well there is in one poor crater's life it is not for to tell when morning blinks mon lies and thinks about the coming day he lays his bits o scheme so sure they cannot roll astray he cracks his thumbs and thinks all leet just how it's planned to go but when he looks things up at neat he seldom finds it so and when a storm comes dark and loud we money a weary sigh he toots about if slift as cloud to find a bit of sky he mopes and moans he grunts and groans and thinks his comforts o'er but the minute th welkins breet again is better than before good luck to the mortal that can stong good luck bout being proud that keeps his yed for growing what his heart for growing cowed that walks his chalks and heeds no talks but does the best he con and when things are not to his mind can bide it like a mon then let's be lowly when it's fine and cheerful when it's dark mon ne'er were made to mope and whine but buckle to his wark it sweetens there it leetens care i never knew it fail go at it then and let's do fair how time will tell a tale end of part three part four of poems and songs in the lancashire dialect by edwin war this librivox recording is in the public domain neat for the wimp blows keen through th shivering thorns and th leet looks wild i th sky come tet stir up that fire and draw that kaither gently by i've done me weshing granny and i've tidied everything and now i'll sit me down to sew and hearken th kettle sing bring in some coals and shut that door it's quite a wintry day reach down that ham for robin likes a relish to his tea sweep th grate and set yon table out put th tea pot upon thune it's getting on for bagging time and he'll be coming soon the fire bruns clear and the house begins a looking brisk and breet as the time draws near when he gets back for a town at the edge neat he makes one hutched wi glee to year a favourite foot come warm and it's very fine to hearken when one thinks it's sure to come the cat pricks up her ears at the sneck wi money a leetsome toot and th owd arm cheer ith corner seems as if it yerd his foot the window blinks and the clock begins a ticking loud and fain and th tin things winking up o'er the wall they groon as breet again kettles humming o'er wi fun just look at thender spout it's like a little sooty lad that set his lips to shout th waiter drops up for for th tap a getting wick wi glee and you're fain granny too i know but known as fain as me keep the rockers going soft and slow and shade that leet away i think this little duck's a th mend who sleeps so ill to-day doors on me darling keep em shut those teeny windows blue good lord if what should happen thee what could thee mammy do here granny put this cover on and tuck it nicely in keep the gear the stirring gently and make very little din and lap those dimpled hons away for a frosty winter air they lie on a top of bit of quilt like two clock hummers dear but stop who's laughing come i up me bonny little puss god bless it dad's noan far off let mammy have a bus he's here he's here tet 
bring that cheer eh dear these darlings too if it were not for this child to him what could a body do a lift on the way come what's the use of fratching lads this life's none so long so if you can gather round we'll try me under to sung it may show a guiding glimmer to some wanderer stray or aptly give some poor owd soul a lift on the way a lift on the way a lift on the way or aptly give some poor owd soul a lift on the way life's road's full o' ruts it's very slutchy in its tree and mony a worn out limper lies him down there to thee then floundering low with gutter he looks round with dismay to see if aught i'th world can give a lift on the way a lift on the way a lift on the way to see if aught i'th world can give a lift on the way there's some folk at mun trudge it and there's some folk at may ride but never mortal mon can tell what chance may be tied to-day he may be blossoming like roses he may to morn he may be begging for a lift on the way a lift on the way a lift on the way to morn he may be begging for a lift on th way good will it's a jewel with as little else to spare and a mon may help another though his pouch may be bare a generous heart like sunshine brings good cheer in its ray and a friendly word can sometimes give a lift on the way a lift on the way a lift on the way and a friendly word can sometimes give a lift on the way like posies that are parching in the midsummer sun there's mony a poor heart faints afore the journey to be run let's lay the dust we kindness till the close of the day and give these drooping travellers a lift on the way a lift on the way a lift on the way and give these drooping travellers a lift on the way o oh, soft be his pillow when he sinks down to his rest that can keep the lamb of charity alive in his breast may pleasant feelings haunt him as he's dozing away and angels give him up a boon a lift on the way a lift on the way a lift on the way and angels give him up a boon a lift on the way jog on me noble comrades then and so mote it be that hond in hond we travel till the day that we dee and now to end me ditty lads let's heartily pray that heaven may give us every one a lift on the way a lift on the way a lift on the way that heaven may give us every one a lift on the way yester night i gate up a milkin this mornin i gate up before it were late i ne'er slept a minute for thinkin what robin said yester night i've brocken two basins i'th dairy i've scorded me gronny wi tay it's no use a tryin a spinnin me wheel's out to trim to-day it's o oh, yon robin yon robin his e'en ne'er twinkled so breet as he did when he mezzet me finger for th little gowd ring last neet our dorothy's singin ith shippen our jonathan's loungin ith fowd our tummy's at the fair where he lippens a swappin his cout for gowd me gronny's asleep wi a knittin and th kitlin's playin with yarn our betty's gone out wi a gallon to th chaps at the wark in the barn it's o oh, yon robin yon robin his e'en ne'er twinkled so breet as he did when he mezzet me finger for th little gowd ring last neet and th lasses and lads are i'th meadow they get in the bag in ith hay i hear them as leetsome as lay rocks i'th sky on a shiny day but little care i for their marlocks i dunnot want folk to see though i'm fitter for crying than laughing there's nobody's fain as me for o oh, yon robin yon robin he's e'en ne'er twinkled so breet as they did when he mezzet me finger for th little gowd ring last neet when i crept into th nook wi me sewing me mother peeped round so sly who knowed our were glentin at th coppice where robin comes riding by then who come to me snurchin and tootin and whisperin how dost feel dost think i should send for a doctor but th doctor who knows reet weel 
It's o oh, yon robin, yon robin. His een ne'er twinkled so breet as they did when he mezzet me finger for th little gowd ring last neet. Me feyther sits dozing in the corner, his dream in the harvest day. When Robin comes in for his daughter, eh, what'll me feyther say? Th rose buds a peep in the garden, and th blossoms off apple tree. Oh, how will life's winter time find us, yon Robin o' mine and me? Oh, yon Robin, yon Robin, his een ne'er twinkled so breet as they did when he mezzet me finger for th little gowd ring last neet. Then hey for kisses and blushes, and hurrying to and fro, and hey for sly sweet whispers that nobody but me mun know. Then hey for rings and for ribbons, and bonnets and posies fine, and hey it's all in a flutter, this little fond heart o' mine. For oh yon robin, yon robin, his een ne'er twinkled so breet, as they did when he mezzet me finger for the little gowd ring last neet. I've worn me bits of shoon away. I've worn me bits of shoon away, we roving up and down, to see yon moorland valleys and yon little country town. The dool tack shoon and stockings too, me heart feels hutchin fain. And if I trudge it barefoot, lads, I'll see yon town again. It's what care I for cities grand, we never shall agree. I'd rather live where th Lairock sings, a country town for me. A country town where one can meet with friends and neighbours known, where one can lounge i th market place and see the meadows moan. Yon moorland hills are blooming wild at the end of July. Yon woodland cloofs and valleys green, the sweetest under the sky. Yon dainty rindles dancing down for the mountains into the plain. As soon as the new moon rises, lads, I'm off to the moors again. There's hearty lads among yon hills and in yon country town. They in far more sense than prouder folk. I'll abound it for a crown. They wick and warm and wark and fun wherever they may go. The primest breeds a lads i the world. Good luck attend them o'er. Last night I laughed the city throng, and climbed yon hillock green, and turned me face to Thmoreland hills with waiter in me een, with waiter welling in me een. I'll bundle up and go, and I'll live and dee in me own country where the moorland breezes blow. Gentle John. I seed a thoughtful chap one day, his face were mild, his topping grey, we wandering foot he went astray, down yon lawn. I axed a lame old money throw to tell me what that chap were called, says he, I thought o' each body knowed, gentle John. Owd lad, said I, just look how wrong these days is groon at Thedgeth Bonk, let's cower us down and have a conk, just till noon. He pooed a reach a bacco out, and cheese a muffin in a clout, and then began to tell about gentle Joan. Says he, some folk are brass of fond, they cowdith heart and crampteth hond, but yon's the flower of this lond, gentle Joan. His heart's as true as guinea yowd, he's good to folk at ill and owd, chilled a poon his lappeth fowd, gentle Joan. I better crown his off to the vale to hear some crater's surrey tale. I've never knowed his kindness fail, gentle John. O'er hill and cloof and moss and moor, his reet wheel known to folk at's poor, a welcome foot at every door, gentle John. He tax delight in roving round to quiet nooks where sorrow's found. He comes like rain to drufty ground, gentle John. He's very slow at thinking ill. He'll pass a fort we read good will, and doing goods his pastime still, gentle Joan. And when I broke this poor owd limb, I should a deed except for him. He said no more, his een geet dim, mine with same. Owd brid, said I, let's have a jill. No, no, said he, I'm no on so weel. It's time to paddle down this hill to the owd dame. To an early noon, if th month o' May, we said we'd meet another day, and then thou'd greater limped away down th green lawn. And now let's do the thing that's reet, and then 
when death puts out her leet will aptly ston a chance to meet gentle joan end of part four Part five of Poems and Songs in the Lancashire Dialect by Edwin War. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Tum Rindle. Tum Rindle lope for the chimbley nook, as the winter sun were sinking. I'm tired of cowering here with smook, and wasting time i thinking. It frets me heart and racks me brew, it sets me head a stewing. A man that wouldn't dee a foo, mun up and start a doing. Then Mally, reach me Sunday shoon to rom me bits of toes in, and on me th jug for the top of thoon, and let me dip me nose in, and come and fill it up again, and dunnot look so dowdy. There's nought can lick a marlock when one's brains are getting mouldy. Oh, lay the rook and neighbour lads, frisky couts and bowdens, and let em bring the mams and dads, we'n have it pranked wi howdens, and lads and lasses they shan sing and foot it late and limber and robin lilter he shall bring his merry bit of timber and joe shall come and joan and ben and poor owd limpin liger and mal and sal and fan and nan and curly pated biger and gentle charlie shall be there and little dick the ringer and most and sam o oh, like to yer a snowy yedded singer i'll poo me granny out at nook and send for dolly maybo for when who's gradely don do look as grand as th queen o shaber and little nell shall dance with me who in hell is young and bonny and when o've had a dance with thee o caper wi me gronny then mally fill it up again and dunnot look so dowdy there's nought can lick a marlock when one's brains are getting mouldy we're young and hearty dunnot croak let's frisk it now and never so here's good luck to country folk and country fun for ever bonny dan eh hey, ned owd mon i feel as fain as spreetis brid as sings he may come sit the down i'll wear a crown we'll have a rousing rant to-day let's dance and sing i've bought a ring for bonny nanny thowler dale then eh hey, for fun me mopin's done and now i'm brisk as bottle tail oh guess owd brid what's bound to be for i like nan and who likes me twelve months at after robin deed who looked so down wi ne'er a smile i couldn't find he heart o mind to cheap a wedding for a while i thought i'd bide but still i sighed for the morning cloud to clear away i watched her een grew breet again a layrock tootin out for day then guess owd brid what's bound to be for i like nan and who likes me my nan is fair and trim and rare a modest lass as sweet to see her een a blue her heart it's true and nan is hardly twenty-three and life's so strong when folk are young that waitin longer wouldna do these more end lads who turns their heads who's been a widow long enoo then guess owd brid what's bound to be for i like nan and who likes me i've sin at neat about a leet a midge keep buzzing to and fro then dart at th shine at look so fine and brun his wings at th end of o'er that midge is me it's plain to see me wings are brunt and yet i'm fain for where i leet i find so sweet as never want to fly again then guess owd brid what's bound to be for i like nan and who likes me tickle times here's robin looks fearfully gloomy and jamie keeps staring at the ground he's thinking of the table that's empty and the little things yammering round it looks very dark just afore us but keep your hearts out o your shoon though clouds may be thickening o'er us there's lots of blue heaven aboon but when a mon's honestly willing and never a stroke to be had and clemming for want of a shilling no wonder that he should be sad it troubles his heart to keep seeing his little brids feeding a there and it feels very hard to be deein and never a mortal to care but life's such a queer bit o travel a marlock wi sun and wi shade and then on a bowster o gravel he lain as he bed wi a spade 
it's no use a poutin and fratchin as thwirly gigs twirlin around have at it again and keep scratchin as long as your head's above ground if one could but grow up if inside on't there's trouble i every heart and those that are the biggest of pride on't oft leetoneth keenest of smart whatever may chance to come to us let's patiently hondle a share for there's mony a fine suit o' cluse that covers a murdering care there's danger i every station ith palace as much as ith got there's anchor i every condition and canker i every lot there's folk that are weary o' living that never fear to hunger na cowed and there's mony a miserly crater that's deed of a surfeit o' gowd one feels now at times are so nippin a mon's at a troublesome scoo that slaves like a horse for a livin and flings it away like a foo but as pleasures sometimes a misfortin and trouble sometimes a good thing though we live in oth floor same as lay rocks we go up like lay rocks to sing jamie's frolic one neat or crop warm when me wavin were o'er to brush more and wash more and fettle me yore then trailing about wi me heart in me shoon kept trying me hond at a bit of a choon as mally sit rockin and darnin a stockin and tentin a bakin i thoon the chilt were asleep and me cluers were reet the baggins were ready and o'er lookin sweet but o'er mazy and nattle and fastened to tell what the dool it could be that a railin mesel and it made me so naught that o'er somehow i thought oh, i could just like a snap at our mal poor lass who were kinder because o'er were queer come jamie and settle thee sell in a chair thas looked very yonderly mony a day it's grieving to see how thou'rt wearing away and trailing about like a hen at sith mout do prither poo up to thee day they want some new flannels this gettin a cowed thought no the so ugly me lad no so owd but that making thee sell into naught but a slave we wavin and thinkin and tryin to save get some at a heat or they'll go out to seat for that watchin thee sell into th grave thinks i th lass is reet and her owd with her wit so i said for i wanted to cheer her a bit owd crater i've no made up me mind to dee a frolic'll just be the physic for me i'll see some fresh places and look at fresh faces and go have a bit of a spree then bumpin and splashin a kettle went down ith name a good catty jem where at a bone and what sort of faces dost want come to tell i oh, doubt that for makin a fool o thysel the dool may tent thoon if o go without shoon o oh, see where thou goest to mysel thinks i th fat's ith fire i mun make it no wur for there's plenty of fatin to do out of th door so i'll talk very prattily to her as ow or else who'll have owd o my toppin in now and bith leetin a rain it were fair to be seen that who were ready to rive me it ow if truth mun be towed or began to be fain to study a bit o' me quartin again so i said to her mally this world's rough e now to fore out with those one likes best when it do it's a very sore smart and it sticks long i that and he gad o said nought but what's true lord i were mon talks when his heart's in his tongue o roost a poor lass and showed her were wrong till oo took me bethond wi a tear in her eye and said jamie there's nobody as tender as thee forgi me lad do for o'm nobbut a foo and bide wi me now till o dee so we bide one another whatever may come for there's no peace i'th world if there's no peace o home and now when a random word gives her some pain and makes her a little bit cross in her grain sunshine comes back as soon as o'er crack a beginning me quartin again owd pinder owd pinder were a rackless foo and spent his days i spreein at th end of every drinkin do he a sure to crack a deein go sell me rags and sell me shoon us never live to trail em me ballast pipes are out o tune and the wind begins to fail em who am at is very fresh and young twould any mon bewilder who'll wed again afore it's long for th lass is fond o childer me bit o brass'll fly and see when th coffin lid has screened me 
it goes again me pluck to day and leave a wick behind me come matty come and cool me head i'm finished to me thinking he wapped him up nicely and said thou's brought it on we drinking nay nay said he me fuddle's done we partin tom for t other so promise me that when o'm gwon thou'll never wed another thou tail said who and laughed a stew it's really past believing he thinketh well thee art goin to and leave this world to th livin what use to me can deed folk be thou's kilt thysel wi spreein and if that's o'er they wants wi me get forrard wi thee deein he scrat his yed he rubbed his e and then he donned his breeches how a matty gets as force said he as one o pendle witches if ever o'm to muster wit it mun be now or never or think i'll try to live a bit it wouldn't do to lever end of part five part six of poems and songs in the lancashire dialect by edwin waugh this librivox recording is in the public domain for goblin parson thwint were still ith shade a thill and stars began a glowin ith fade in leet one summer neat when th dew were softly foin we weary shanks by primrose banks where rindlin wheat were shinin or whistled careless wandering slow toward me cot inclinin through th woodland green or tooted keen for th little window winkin th stars may shine they none as fine as matty's candle blinkin o'er oh, th rosy hedge or went to th ridge of th lonesome shaded plantin to get another blink of th leet that set my heart a pantin then down be th well i th fairy dell we trees a boon it knittin where near and fur the now to stir but bats if thou leet flittin and fear for sounds that rustled round e monny a goblin flitter a swarming dark to flace and wark they flew with fiendish titter there reet an ent or geet a glent that brought a shiver o'er me for fair ith track the summit's black come creepin on afore me it were not clear but it were there with gloomy shadow blendin now black and slim now grey and grim with no other side nor endin cowed drops were tremblin on me brew as there o'er stood belated or durst not turn or durst not go but shut my een and waited and just as o'er begun to pray there come for th creepin spectre a weel known voice that said well james to an out but thrillage rector well james said he i am fain to see your pew so weel attended but then you shouldn't fall asleep afore my sermon's ended to drowsy ears it's useless quite to scatter holy teaching why don't you bring a bit of snuff and tack it while i'm preaching well well said o there's mony a way o keepin een for closin a needle might keep th body wake and th soul might still be dozin but this receipt would set it reet if th mitcher were a warman you get some stinging gospel snuff and put it into th sarmon he stared like mad but th good owd lad then gripped my hond warm-hearted and said ye reet ye reet good neet and that were how we parted it touched my heart and made it smart he spoke so mild and pratty i blessed him as he walked away and then went warm to matty come jamie let's undo thee shoon come jamie let's undo thee shoon and don summat dry on thee feet we toilin ith shower up and down o'er oh, flayed at thee stockings o wheat and here we me young uns ith neest or been arknin to th patter o th rain a longin for th wanderin brid to comfort me spirits again to-day when it pelted at th height o oh, ston it no longer said i for really it didn't look reet to cower under cover so dry so though it were rainin like mad o oh, thought for my heart gave a swell come down as to will but yon lad shall not have it all to hissel 
so whipping me bucket i rain or gath bits o windows a swill and though i geet drenched to me skin o a better content wi mysel but thou stons thee smiling off floor like a sunflower dripping wi wheat eh jamie thou knowst i'm sure how fain o'm to see that a neat eh lass what's a shower to me o have plenty o sun in me breast me wark keeps me hearty and free and gives me a relish for rest o'm no made o sugar nor sout that melts wi a steep in a rain and as for me jacket it's nowt o dry it be thlee to the e'en come sit the down close by me side o oh, full as a cricket wi glee o oh, i'm troubled wi nothing but pride and own it owing to thee thou trim little pattern for wives come give a poor body a kiss o oh, wish every storm of our lives may end up as nicely as this while taking a whiff to me pipe while taking a whiff to me pipe to the neat a thought trickled into me pate that sulking because everything isn't sweet is no but a foolish conceit if mon had been made for a bit of a spree and the world were a marlocking scoo we nought no but hating and drinking and glee and holiday gam to go through it sicken of four his frolic were o'er and feel he'd been born for a foo poor crater his o'er discontentment and doubt whatever his fortin may be he's just like a child that goes crying about oh johnny's more treacle than me one minute he's troubled next minute he's fain and then this so blended he won it's hard to tell whether he's laughing through pain or whether he's pouting for fun he stumbles and grumbles he struggles and juggles he capers a bit and he's gone it's wise to be humble in prosperous ways for trouble may chance to be nee it's wise for to struggle with sorrowful days till sorrow breeds sensible glee he's rich that contented we little lives weel and nurses that little to more he's weel off it's rich if he nobbit can feel his brother to those that are poor and to him it does fair though his living be bare some comfort shall ever be sure we nobbit a lifetime of peace here below and the longest is very soon spent the summit a boon measures cuts for us o'er and the most on em nobbit a fent long a short rough a fine little matter for that will make the best of stuff till it's done and when it leaks out to get riven a bit let's darn it as weel as we can when th order comes to us to doff these old clothes they'll surely be new uns to don god bless thee silver yore john lad though the hands like rousty iron to feel there's very few i thlond who are like to gripe as weel thou'll never dee i dumps because o being poor thy good old king o' trumps god bless thee silver yore who up to th side o thob and rest thee weary shanks and dunnot fret thee knob wi fortin and a pranks these folk at's proud and rich me tremble at a frown they'm further far na sich as thee to tumble down thou never longs for wine nor dainties rich and rare for sich a life as thine can sweet and simple fare contented with thee meal thy's wit enough to know that daisies live and wheel where tulips cannot grow and though thee clothes are rough and getting very owd they none so weel enough to keep thee limbs for cowed a foo would pine away in sich a suit as thine but thou'rt the stuff to me a fustian jacket fine a tattered clout may lap a very noble prize a king may be by hap a beggar in disguise when ton has laughed his feast and t'other done his crust then which is which at last these little piles are dust and though the share of life may seem a losing game thou striven fair i strife and kept a decent aim no mouse nooks if he mind nor malice if he breast thou still been true and kind and trusted fate with rest through trouble toil and wrong thou's whistled at thee wark thou's rustled life so long thee lambs are getting stark but sich a heart as thine's a never failing friend it cheers a mon's decline and keeps it sweet to th end thy banner'll soon be furled and then they'd a tell he travelled the dirty world 
and never soiled he sell and when i come to thee and death has ta'en his tow o oh, hope to lee to thee god bless thy snowy bow bargets coming o oh, sam whatever does to me in o oh, see that there ith nook again we're over jill that's nine or ten has dropped into a fortin i wonder how a mon can sit and waste his bitter wage and wit if o thy wife o'd make the flit wi little time to start in but owd your margit's up i th' town o yerd her axe for thee at th' crown and just meet now or scump it down it's true as o't i th' bible the knows ye margit weel of owd a tongue it makes my fair go cowed since the day who broke me nose i th' fowd wi thedgeth porridge thibble it's ten to one who'll go in here and poo thee out o' th' corner chair so sit for her back where th' runnin's clear or keep me in o' th' window thou my the hits and when o shout be limber legged and lammers out and though will not believe or doubt or swear or never sin the or bite me tongue or will be th mon or plug me ears up till who's gone a grewin tree could hardly stun a savage woman flighting if folk were nobbut o i th mind to make the bits o booses kind there be less wandering out to find a corner to be quiet in it's nearly three o'clock bith chime this ale o gems is very prime we'll cower me down till baggin time and have a reach a backer o guess tha's heard a clinker lad and liltin jenny gettin wed and collop goin rang i th yed but that's not mitch to crack o there's news that chaps at war a crown a gettin powlet up and down they punsin em fra town to town like footballs in a pasta young gary bald is gannem silk thou'd lad is fairly made em swilk and now they send his sellin milk to raise new clues for eister there's some a creepin out o th' slutch and some a gettin down i th' dutch but by th' mon o never yerd o sich a world for change o fortin they gooin groanin out o th' seat they comin cryin into th' leet but owd o yerd a monday neet a tale about a quartin Who up i'll tell it if o con thou knows that little bow legged mon but eh owd lad your margit's yon who's comin like a racer some foo has put her upo th track cut sam who lavers in a crack or said who'd come let's run out th back be th mass or da not face her End of part six Part seven of Poems and Songs in the Lancashire Dialect by Edwin Waugh. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Hard Weather, Winter, eighteen seventy eight to nine. Good Lord's days, what times are these for clemming and for cowed, for doleful looks and wintry nooks where folk are poor and owd, for hopeless care and dark despair and gloomy want to trust for fireless hearths and cupboards bare and bitter want to crust but bide lads bide for a happier tide and keep your hearts out o your shoon through thick and thin we'll ne'er give in there's a bit o blue sky aboon there never were sich mournful cries of famine yerd afore john chinaman's been clemmed to death and india's suffered sore your mills may weel be stunning still your markets weel be slack for when folks nipped for want o mate they nought to spare for th back but bide lads bide for a happier tide and keep your hearts out o your shoon through thick and thin we ne'er give in there's a bit o blue sky aboon sich strikes and rows and breakages there never yet were known sich frettin and sich chettin and sich bitter starvin moan these knavish pranks he trusted banks are spreadin ruin round and every hour the tradin ranks are crashin to the ground but bide lads bide for a happier tide and keep your hearts out o your shoon through thick and thin we'll ne'er give in there's a bit o blue sky aboon whilst trade declines and taxes rise and ruin stalks the land we groan to see the good we prize crushed by a rampant band 
tis ours to watch each bloody fray and mad gunpowder plot and win the day whoever may tis ours to pay the shot but bide lads bide for a happier tide and keep your hearts out o' your shoon through thick and thin we ne'er give in there's a bit of blue sky aboon though the bitter air and living bear gets keener every day and the emptier folks pockets are the more they han to pay though strikes and wars and swindling tricks ascending the wide world wrong yet come what will this shall be still the burden of my song but bide lads bide for a happier tide and keep your hearts out o' your shoon through thick and thin we'll ne'er give in there's a bit of blue sky aboon come limber lads come limber lads so leet and gay on fain we wick and hearty to neet we have a holiday to morn we's find it warty like sailors thrut be the stormy main into a nook together one hour of friendly fun and then again for wind and weather owd time though when a monzith dumps he's seldom in a hurry nips up his shins and off he stumps the minute one gets merry life's road though not as dree as his is harder work to travel one leets a few sich nooks as this and the journey ends it gravel then clink and sing me lucky lads and frisk it while you're able there's cheap in the rocks round the board and plenty upon the table come crack your jokes and let em leet a sly deception scorning when prank it out we glee to neat and strike to arketh morning if all that wanders under the sky be grass that cannot linger let every mortal blade that's dry cock up his little finger then fill for him that's full of fun and let it be a thumper and th lad that thinks he's nearly done win ruse him wi a bumper and now to end this friendly rant turn up your tots to the ceiling let's hope that he may ne'er feel scant that never scant a feeling good luck to th lad that wants a wife wi rosy chens to bind him and th mon that wants a foo be th life if looking glass he'll find him the garland air cupid's garden twas when the dawn of morning began to stir i the sky i donned myself to wander afore the dew were dry to wander in the gay greenwood reet early i did rove i could not sleep upon my bed for thinking of me love down in a bonny dingle where sometimes we did stray our vows of love to mingle at close of summer day it's there where oft among a hair the flowers of spring i've wove i sat me down to think upon the girl that i do love it's there i made a garland my darling for to don and the posies that were in it they shined like the sun the dewy posies wild and sweet all in the leafy grove it breaks my heart to think upon the girl that i do love the cowslip and the speedwell with the dewdrop in its e and the wild rose and the bluebell they blend so bonnily and the honeysuckle wandering wild with violets blue i wove they made me for to think upon the girl that i do love and when i pooed me poses the small birds they did sing and when i wove me garland they made the woods to ring on every tree the wild birds glee rang through the leafy grove as i came away at dawn of day still thinking of my love o oh, the morning sun it rises to cheer my heart's delight and the silver moon she wanders among the clouds at night and the twinkling stars that look so fine all in the heavens above at work or play be neat and day i'm thinking of my love these bonny bits are childer air eh, has sorrow thy young days shaded never tell me that childer are tiresome they're the best little craters alive and if beautiful country abooners they throng as a hummer bee hive the sunlight of heaven beams round them and seldom a mortal can meet in this changeable world that we're born to with aught so unsullied and sweet never tell me that childer are tiresome they're the best little craters alive and if beautiful country abooners they throng as a hummer bee hive with their prattling talk and their marlocks 
they keep in a body's heart green and if gloomiest hour a life's winter i can sum me if the leet o their een with sound o their sweet chicken music they make my little coat ring like a cage full o twittering angels that's sent down from heaven to sing never tell me that childer are tiresome they're the best little craters alive and if beautiful country abooners they throng as a hummer bee hive and when i grow weary wi thinkin and everything round me seems dark they keepin me spirits fro sinkin and sendin me back to me wark for i feel there's something to live for though everything else should depart and there's nowteth wild words so precious as treasures that sweeten the heart never tell me that children are tiresome they're the best little craters alive and if beautiful country abooners they're as throng as a hummer bee hive and when eventide deepens around us and i get em laid snugly to rest i sometimes creep up again softly to look at em lying ith nest and then th quiet tears come down dreepin as i sit by the bedside alone for the face of a little child sleepin would soften the heart of a stone then never say childer are tiresome they're the best little craters alive and ith beautiful country abooners they throng as a hummer bee hive oh the sunshine of heaven enfolds them and seldom a mortal can meet in this changeable world that we're born to without so unsullied and sweet then never say childer are tiresome they're the best little craters alive and ith beautiful country abooners they throng as a hummer bee hive to my old fiddle oh david was a famous king a meister man o' singers his fiddle was a witching thing when touched by david's fingers but david never stirred a string to melody as fine o oh, and david's fiddle couldn't sing like this owd brid o mine o oh. my bonny little angel niece so tender sweet and funny i wouldn't swap me music kiss to own a mint o money i sometimes think it's gradely wick the singing birds inside on't and not a string but swarming thick wi little elves astride on't for it can sob and moan and sigh and it can pout and whimper and it can coax and wheedle sly and it can lisp and simper and it can laugh and crow and shout and it can wail so keen o oh, folk can at see their gait about for the waiter in their eno oh. the wood were greeny fairy land that th bits o pegs were made on and every new cont thrills wi life the minute that it's played on for the younger end o fairy folk they dancin upo th bridge on t they caperin upo th fiddle bow and ridin upo th ridge on t as i go tweedlin up and down i meet wi welcome free o there's never a mon that comes to town that over's fain to see o for th childer bringin me butter cakes to tickle up me timber and fuddlers bringin me gills of ale to make me elbow limber me darlin little singin bird we'n both grown owd together and we'n been kind and faithful friends through dark and sunny weather and though nought else should make a moan the day that i shall dee o if they'n let this little brid alone it'll sing a hymn for me o it's time to be joggin away eh gran a wail when pitchers are empty and pouches are bare it's time to be joggin away when they grieve in the heart and they stint in the fair it's time to be joggin away when they snappin and fratchin and peevishly catchin at the best that a body can say when love's tain a miss with a winterly kiss it's time to be joggin away at the close of the day when the sun has gone down it's time to be joggin away when night draws a curtain a deepening frown it's time to be joggin away when the sky has no moon and from dark clouds a boon no star shows a glimmerin ray when the journey is lone and the gathering winds moan it's time to be joggin away when slander is loud and when tricksters are proud it's time to be joggin away when truth meets with slight and when craft wins the fight it's time to be joggin away when rascals grow bold and when cronies grow cold and cross to the opposite way 
when foremen look sly and when neighbours look shy it's time to be jogging away when the night brings no rest and the daylight no cheer it's time to be jogging away when the heart's full of pain and the head full of care it's time to be jogging away when favours are sold and affection grows cold and kindness begins to decay when friendship has fled and we live with the dead it's time to be jogging away when the shanks growing slim and the eyes growing dim it's time to be jogging away when the foot totters slow and the pulse flutters low it's time to be jogging away when the blood's getting thin and we wearied we din it draws to the close of the day then farewell to all for the passing bells call it's time to be jogging away end of part seven part eight of poems and songs in the lancashire dialect by edwin waugh this librivox recording is in the public domain little cattle little care laddie good dog the day wark's done the sun's low in the west the lingering wild birds one by one are flitting to the nest mild evenings fairy fingers close the curtain of the day and the drowsy landscape seeks repose in twilight shadows grey little cattle little care lie thee down laddie we never owned a yard o' ground we little wealth in hand but they are make and sleep as sound as the richest folk if land and when they're all alike laid down and lapped in dreamless snooze between a monarch and a clown there's not a pin to choose little cattle little care lie thee down laddie let the miser hug his glittering prey and think his joys complete let him root among it all the day and count it o'er at neat he can trail it but to thender throad where life's short tale is told then death takes off his golden load and leaves him in the cold little cattle little care lie thee down laddie then come good dog the day wark's done we'll let the world roll by there's never a king below the sun as happy as thou and i for though kings lie on beds of down sweet sleep they seldom find and there's not a jewel in all the crown that's worth a quiet mind little cattle little care lie thee down laddie cradle song the child cries i cradle the cake brunzeth stone the cow moos i milking gap that thendeth loan the cat purrs o'th stone the clock ticks i nook the kettle sings o'th hob and the pon hangs on thook the woint roars i chimbley brings down the soot mam knits and sings and rocks with her foot nan's off a churnin dick's gone to th barn lap little billy up to keep him warm round billy's curly yed good fairies play tent in his little bed till break o day one day brings sunshine th next day brings rain no day brings billy's dad back here again sleep little darling sleep god watch o'er thee thou art o'er that's left i world to comfort me the little doffer a merry little doffer lad come down to shapper's mill to see if he could get a shop he said his name were bill bill what me lad the old looker said art a good no beside oh ay yeah, said the lad they go me things sometimes it's bad to bide but what's thy father's name me lad thou'll surely tell me that said the lad some corn him apple dad his gradely name's owd hat me uncle joe's goad flopper chops and sometimes owd be tired they corn him those at the waving shops and i know nought beside said the looker i know owd joe he waves for billy grime but what done they call thee me lad when they corn at dinner time the lad grinned and said they never had to call me then no fear 
said Thorlooker. How's that, me lad? said the lad. I'm all as there. Me lad, thou looks a lively count, keen as a cross cut saw, short yer, sharp teeth, a twinkling e, and a little hungry more. But we're as to been watching at, what's brought the down our way, said the lad. I watched for Tommy Platt, he gan with bag to day. Thou's brought thee character, I guess, says the lad. Ye rang, I doubt, says the looker to the lad. How's this? says the lad. I'm better bout said the looker i never see sich a whelp sin i were born but i'll try what i can make of thee come to thee wark to morn hey lads hey oh i a fidgin fain to drop me wark when gloaming shades come softly down and off i went at thedger dark to th bonniest lass in ratchter town i such a flutter to tap the gate that i'd hardly time to tee me shoon for me heart beat wild with lovey late, and me tingling feet kept time to th tune. Sing hey, lads, hey, sing ho, lads, ho, what's to be tied us, who can know? On wings of bliss, away I flew, o oh, moor and moss and posied lee. I started mony a brid for th bow, but never a brid as blithe as me. And when I come to th foaming brook, bunk full of water, spreading wide, I took a sprint, went o'er oh, like waint, and let a yard at t'other side. Sing hey, lads, hey, sing oh, lads, ho, oh. what's to be tied us, who can know? At seat of gable end of cot, I rubbed me hands and ma looked round, and I trimmed me clues for a yed to foot, for I felt myself a fairy ground. But when I met wi fickle Kate, who lost no time to let me see, that who'd set a cap another gate, and who wanted no more truck wi me. Sing hey, lads, hey, sing oh, lads, ho, oh. What's to be tied us, who can know? I hung about a while, and I come trailing warm with leeteth moon, and at every step I hove a sigh, for my heart has sunk into me shoon, and when I get in a mile of gate, I sat me down by thou draw well, and I felt in such a doleful state that I'd hove a mind to drown myself. Sing hey, lads, hey, sing ho, oh, lads, ho, oh. what's to be tied us, who can know? What ails yon lad? me father said there's some at us tain him sadly down for he sits if nook and he hangs his yed and i doubt he's lost his gate to th town come robin don't tack thy look so ill keep up the heart and caper round for if one love win it another will and there's plenty of lasses left at th ground sing hey lads hey sing ho lads ho what's to be tied us who can know toothsome advice Oh, Nanny, thou'rt all out of gear. Do, pray thou, go peep into the glass. Thou looks dirty and dowly and queer. Whatever's to do with the lass? Bless you, Mary, if folk no but knew the trouble I have wi' yon lad. Is at the house again without crew? It's enough to drive on him on mad. Eh, me wench, I'm much older than thee, and it grieves me to see thee like this. So pray thou now, hearken to me and don't go and tack it amiss. Thou once were nice-looking, and mild, and tidily done, too, as well. But now thou art quite sluttish and wild, about both the house and the cell. It's hard to keep things right, with aught that a body can manage to do. But a mon sure to stray when he's naught but dirt and foul looks to come to. If thou wants to keep Jamie at house, thou wun be it the trap we comfort me, lass. Oh, there's lots of nooks, canty and crouse, where he'll creep with his pipe and his glass. The monkey is warm, pleasant and sweet, and everything fit to be seen. The monkey the hearth, cheerful and bright. The monkey the cell, tidy and clean. A good tempered wife will entice to a fireside that's cosy and trim. Men like to see the wives nice, and I'm sure it's so we owe Jim. The must have his meals cooked to his mind at three time and decently laid tack pains and thou'll very soon find how nice a plain dish can be made good cooking keeps liking alive with a woman that's known short to wit and there's never a creator i hive but's fond of a toothsome tit-bit eh hey, mary i'm nowt of a cook but just rough and ready you know on as for roasting and boiling bith book i'm more little more use than a stone 
do thee bother to nigh though wi me i'll soon put the right if thou'll come and i'll larn thee some cooking thou'll see that'll help to keep jamie at warm cock robin air with wellington will go cock robin come a decent folk he was the village pride the tightest sweetest soundest lad that stepped the mole and side fra top to toe he stood six feet his voice was loud and clear but he could whisper low and sweet when a bonny lass was near cock robin had a witching tongue it made folk laugh and cry and he won the arts of owd and young with love light in his eye and as he wandered through the fields he made the valley ring and the country lasses pricked their ears to hear young robin sing young robin was the blithest cout that frolicked on the green the king of the lads hath fowd the darling of the scene with happy heart in nature's lap he wandered wild and free though many a sweet lass set a cap to catch his twinkling ee but there was one dear lass that bore from all the world the bell and touched his heart for evermore with love's delightful spell with modest charms unknown to guile she made a conquest sweet and brought the roving minstrel down to warble at her feet now robin feels the mystic power of true love here below and robin owns the richest dower that angels can bestow he flits no more from bough to bough his soarings wild have ceased his songs are all for mally now and th little brids dith neast end of part eight part nine of poems and songs in the lancashire dialect by edwin war this librivox recording is in the public domain owd roddle owd roddle were tattered and torn with a bleat and gowly e ere womble and slap and unshorn a flaysome cout to see houseless without a friend the poor owd wandering slave crawled on to his journey's end we one of his feet hith grave poor owd roddle owd roddle were fond of ale for a tap to tap went he and this were his endless tale who'll stun a jill for me he crept into drinking shops at dawn in a morning late he lived upon barmy slops and slept in a tub at night poor owd roddle as roddle one morning tied were trailing his limbs to town a twinkle ith slutch he spied egad it's a silver crown now nah, roddle go buy a shirt a shirt and a pair of shoon a fig for your shoon and shirts me throttles as dry as a oon poor owd roddle come bring us a willfield quart i gone as a buy the tot today i've a chance to start wi a foaming full groon pot this crown is a jovial look i'm flayed it'll melt too fast but i'll live like a king i nook as long as me crown will last poor owd roddle but he met with a friendly touch that ended his mortal woes for he fell in a fatal clutch that turned up his weary toes though they missed him ith nooks of town where penniless topers meet nobody knew how he'd broken down nor where he'd crept out a seat poor owd roddle in a churchyard corn alone under a nameless mound with a friendless poor a throne roddle lies sleeping sound and the kind moon shines at night on the weary wanderer's bed and the sun and rain keep bright his grassy quilt to her head poor owd roddle my grandfather willie my grandfather willie were born off moorside in a cosy owd house where he lived till he died he was strong-limbed and hearty and manly and kind and as blithe as a lark for he'd naught on his mind derry down his wife was the best greater that ever were made and they three bonny lasses as ever broke braid and five strapping lads they look grand in a row for they ain't six feet apiece that makes ten yards in all derry down my grandfather's house were a cosy owd shop and as sweet as a posy from bottom to top 
parlour loom house and dairy bedrooms great and small and a shining owd kitchen the best nook of all derry down he'd cows in a pastor and sheep o'th moorside and a nice bit o garden with the owd feller's pride with his looms and his cattle he'd plenty o wark for his lasses and lasses for a day leet to dark derry down a grey-yedded layrock a three score and twelve he'd weave and he'd warble he'd root and he'd delve for a daybreak to sunset then creep to his nook at the sweet ingleside for a tot and a smook derry down and for the big end a pendle to robin hood's bed for a skid o to tandle's owd grove tufted yed for th two lads to tooters there's never a pot that sin as much glee as me grandfather's tot derry down for a swarthmore i furnace where th dew upon th fells keeps twinkle to th tinkle of ulverston bells for a black coon to black snedge nor cupmon could fill did more good and less harm than my grandfather's jill derry down as i journey through life may this fortin be mine to be upreet and downreet for a youth to decline and walk like a mon through whatever be tied like me grandfather willie that lifts off moorside derry down come to your porridge eh one bumper at parting come lads and sit down to your porridge i hope it'll help you to thrive for nobody can live as they should do bout summat to keep em alive we snug with a decent thatch o'er us while round us the winter winds blow be thankful for what there's afore us there's some that are nothing at all then come and sit down to your porridge i hope it'll help you to thrive for nobody can live as they should do bout something to keep em alive sometimes i've a pain in my stomach that's common to folk that are poor but i've mostly a mouthful of summat that suits me complaint to a yore come beef suet dumpling a lobscouse come ale like owd waiter i'll sing and a lump of good cheese and a jannock it makes me as proud as a king then come and sit down to your porridge i hope it'll help you to thrive for nobody can live as they should do bout summat to keep em alive there's money poor craters a dainty and wanton they're proven made fine but if it be good and there's plenty i'm never so tickle wi mine it's eating that keeps a man wagging and hunger that butters his bread and when a lad snies at his baggin it's time for to send him to bed then come and sit down to your porridge i hope it'll help you to thrive for nobody can live as they should do bout summat to keep em alive some folk are both greedy and liver then guttle but watch none at all and their life's just a comfortless swither be powlet and pound to and fro then watch you away lads till you're weary it helps to keep everything right you'll find the day run very cheery and sleep like a peg top at night then come and sit down to your porridge i hope it'll help you to thrive for nobody can live as they should do bout summat to keep em alive eh hey, joan our brid eh hey, joan our brid bring in some ale i'm fain to see the wick and wheel we make this coat ring like a bell we jolly hearted sound lads we just come lilting full of glee from th moorland tops so wild and free come clear this floor and let em see us dance a cheshire round lads there's jonathan can sing a song that's four and twenty verses long and twittering ben caps owd and young for merry country cracks mon there's thistle jack there's limber joe he'll rustle out i the town and four come cut and long tail he licks o and lays em on their backs mon there's ned with pipes and curly bill and tum and nels for a wardle ill and mole and dan for the blue pot's rill and fither footed dick mon thou may wander far and pick and choose where rindles run and heather grews thou will find no blither couts than those for here to windle nick mon we brown as hazel nuts with sun for thou bis o'er and there's wheel one and every heart runs o'er with fun and every lad's in prime mon the reen a wit we merry leet when trip it round we nimble feet we reek good will we blithely greet this bonny summer time mon then bring a foamin tankard in and weet your whistles and begin this roof shall ring with jovial din 
it's holiday to day lads god bless owd england's hearts of oak a toiling swarms and sturdy folk may they never yield to tyrants yoke i will both sing and pray lads end of poems and songs in the lancashire dialect by edwin waugh read by phil benson